everyone i will be showing you my youtube setup including hardware software and my room setup so that if you want to start your own programming channel you get some idea and i will provide the links of all these things in the video description below let's get started i'm downstairs in my home and my youtube room is upstairs i put some lights because there was diwali and some holiday season going on so let's go upstairs and that's my youtube room it's not very fancy i'm still trying to build it up i like marvel movies so there's a marvel picture here there's this tripod for my camera some weights as i said we'll work long hours so i just do stretching now i have this ring light which helps with the lighting so you can increase or decrease the light intensity I think you can get this really cheap from Amazon or any other website. And the thing that it has is this mobile phone holder. I used to shoot using my Google Pixel before, so that's why I have this. So if you want to shoot using your phone, uh, this particular stand is extremely useful. And my 100K plank. And now this is my desk. I need to get the new chair but this is a deep learning workstation which I had made another video on this I run deep learning job on this it has Titan RTX GPU so I will link the video for building this PC in the description below so you if you want to build a similar machine you get an idea I always like to have two monitors so you see I have like two monitors here I like 300 movies too much. I like the character of Leonardis, so I have the picture of him. I'm planning to get one more picture of Leonardis here. I'll put somewhere on the wall. The most important thing in YouTube is your audio quality, and the Yeti microphone is the best for this purpose. So I got this for I think $100, and it is worth the investment. I also got this extra lens, which gives a very blurry effect from in the background with a high aperture and this overall costed me I think more than $1500 the whole setup but I find it really worth I have a Bose microphone I paid $400 I know it's expensive but you don't need to get this expensive really uh, the thing I like most about this headphone is it has an excellent noise cancellation so this deep learning workstation has so many fans and it makes so much noise so this noise cancellation uh, helps me a lot then I have some goodies which my brother bought when he visited here and then I have a Logitech camera which helps when I uh, am doing recording through zoom some youtubers keep a separate second camera as well and that's an option too if if you want to do it uh, i will go over software a little later but just want to give you an idea on all my hardware so sometimes you see this thing in my hand while i'm shooting the video so let me just show you so this is a camera for my this is a remote for my camera so i can just press a button and stop or start the video so overall this is my desk nothing fancy I keep books here I'm into health and wellness so I read a lot of books so sometimes you know when I feel bored like I will just start uh, reading some books uh, so yeah overall a decent computer with two monitors microphone a camera and that's pretty much it you don't need anything else for your YouTube setup for your programming channel. Uh, I will now go over the software. software. For screen recording, I use Camtasia Studio 2020. I paid $300 one time and it is worth the investment. You can do screen recording, some basic editing, noise removal, adding soundtracks and so on. It is the perfect software if you are especially into the screen uh, recording type of domain. The second software that I use is PowerPoint and Microsoft Office. Uh, I'm still a Windows person and PowerPoint is something I use in a lot of my videos for visualization purpose. If you go through my data structure videos, all the visuals that you see, they're all built into PowerPoint. Now I 
got Microsoft OneDrive for $75 a year. It was a Microsoft 365 subscription, so they gave me OneDrive as well. And I paid $75 a year, where I, I'm getting, I think, I don't, I don't remember how much, but uh, I think a terabyte worth of uh, space on cloud. So I keep all my videos on the cloud because if you keep it on the machine, you never know it crashes and you lose the content. The content is very important. So I store all of it into uh, Microsoft Azure cloud and the 365 subscription comes with a discount. So I just uh, took a bundle. The next one is Zoom. So Zoom, you can use free version, but then if I'm doing a live uh, on YouTube, I and if I'm doing, let's say, an interview with a data scientist, I would do that interview on a Zoom and then I will hook Zoom to YouTube Live. And for that, you need a premium version of Zoom. So I'm paying $15 a month for that. Then I use vector stock images for putting different vectors and icon during my presentation. And the price that I pay for that is based on my usage. But I'm not paying much actually. It's very, very cheap. Then I also have a YouTube premium so that I have an ad free experience. This is something personal when I'm listening to music or even when I'm doing yoga or meditation, I play meditation music and I don't like to get advertisement. So I have YouTube premium subscription, which is $12 a month. So in software, uh, that's pretty much all I have. I think I also use um, screen to GIF. Uh, software which will just convert your screen recording to GIF I can use Camtasia as well but this software is a very lightweight so you know sometimes for lightweight visualization I will use screen to GIF 